Yasure Mangas, today we're going to be diving into the world of lamb gondosuvle. Tender chunks of lamb, marinated in simple yet beautiful blend of flavours, then slowly cooked on the suvla over charcoal until perfection is achieved. This dish isn't just easy to prepare and cook, it's buzzing with flavour which will make it a favourite for you and your guests to enjoy. So grab yourself a drink and let's get into it. So let's introduce you guys to the star of the show, the lamb shoulder. Today we're using 6 kilos. We've chosen in this cut for its perfect suitability for slow cooking. The lamb shoulder benefits greatly from this method, resulting in a mouth-watering finished product. The lamb shoulder is ideal to cut into chunks. It's ideal for skewering on the rotisserie spit for gondosuvli. While it may not be the easiest cut to prepare at home due to its bone structure, just let your butcher know how you want to cut up when you order. Now this is a simple marinade consisting of only six ingredients. We've got onions, garlic cloves, olive oil, salt, pepper and oregano. Now these lemons here, we love their zesty flavour, but they're not going to be incorporated into the marinade today. We're going to apply it to the meat at the end of our cook just for that extra beautiful finishing touch. Now the ratios that we're working with per kilo of lamb for the marinade is 10 grams of salt, 1.5 grams of pepper, 1.5 grams of oregano. We're going to be using two garlic cloves per kilo and one small onion as well per kilo. And of course, we can't forget 25 mils of Greek olive oil per kilo. So now we're going to begin by grating the onions on the fine setting on our grater. What it's going to do is create a soft pulpy texture and it's going to release all those killer juices into the bowl here. And actually now we're going to grab our garlic and we're going to mince all of these, ensuring that they're really small and fine so that we infuse every bite with its flavour. Now that we've got all that in the bowl and we've got our base flavours of the marinade ready, it's time to move on with the rest of the mixture. So now we're ready to add the 60 grams of salt to our mixture. Next up we're going to add our 9 grams of black pepper, then our 9 grams of oregano, and then to finish it off, 150 ml of Greek olive oil. Now we've got all our ingredients in, we're just going to give it a good mix just to finish off this marinade. Now the marinade's done, I'm going to move it to the side and bring in the lamb. We're going to pour this mixture over the lamb, ensuring every piece is thoroughly coated in this flavour-packed mixture. I'm going to add half of it, give it a good mix, and then add the other half once we're ready. You ready for a little bit more? Yeah, chuck her in, man. And remember, these ratios are based on per kilogram of lamb shoulder. If you're working with a different amount of lamb, make sure you adjust your quantities accordingly. Now we're going to cover the lamb, set it aside for a few hours, and let the flavours do their magic. To get the charcoal going, we're just going to do our usual. Cut a wool with a bit of metho. Lights up easy. No smoke, no smells. Beautiful. We'll just go let it do its thing and get started with a few snacks. Got some chivaps. Gonna hit them up with some salt, pepper, and oregano. And of course, some halloumi, the best. So the charcoal's going. It's time now to get our lamb onto the spit. And Donny, let's have a look at it. Have a look at that. How beautiful. Nice bit of fat, lovely meat. I'm hungry there. Beyond hungry. So we've got our onion on the spit. That's just gonna help secure it. It's a form of a clamp. It's on there quite tight. Now, Andonia, what piece are we gonna start with? Start with a piece with a bit of bone, got a bit of fat, and we're just gonna put it in the center of our, of our spit. That's it. All right, Ella, let's put that down there. Beautiful. Now we're gonna continue through, just threading our lamb onto our skewer. All we're doing is just trying to keep it as even as possible. One this way, maybe one that way. Just continue the alteration and we'll just keep going until we've got it all on. All right, so we've finished the skewering. Time to close off with our last onion. And that's what our finished spits look like. And if you want to test it a little earlier, just make some small spits for mezedes. So the charcoal's ready. We're just going to even it up a little bit, give it a nice shape for our cork. And we're just going to pull out a few small pieces just to create a little bed to cook our mezzalaki at the end of the spit. And before we start, we're just going to ash the charcoal, controlling the temperature and help it to retain the heat for longer. All right guys, so we started our cook up high on a low to medium heat. We're about roughly 15 centimeters off the charcoal and we're sitting at around about six to seven seconds at the bottom of the lamb before we have to retract our hand is the kind of temperature that we're working with at the moment. We're gonna cook the lamb high for two hours. Because the chunks of lamb are quite large, we wanna slow cook it, heating it up from the inside and out, just to make sure it's cooked all the way through. Once the internal temperature reaches 60 to 65 degrees, we're gonna drop the lamb closer to give the color that we're looking for. How's it going, Donny? Bloody beautiful, mate. 
Mr. Vecchia coming along. Mate, we're in it for the long haul. I think we saw Pru nicely. Beautiful. I'm starving there. Guys, we're one hour into the cook. Yeah. As you can see, it has got a slight color starting to form on the lamb. It's not dark by any means. It's cooking perfectly. And we're gonna keep this up at this height for another hour. After the second hour is completed, then we're gonna drop it down. That's what's left of the mezzaragia. Not too much, mate. So one and a half hours in, just cruising it through, getting ready to drop it down. All right, guys, we're at our two hour mark. We've hit the 60 degrees. It's time to lower the souvla, start browning it up. Beautiful. And it's yours. Come on. Beautiful. Just a word to note as well, the ash that we put on top of the charcoal when it was first lit is to help the charcoal to stay uh, contained and it's uh, lasted our whole cook. All right, so two and a half hours in and we're just gonna give it a scratch up. Just get that final color that we're looking for. See guys, that charcoal still real hot on the inside. Do you know what there? Mate, it's looking bloody beautiful, mate. Gone devil, man. Bloody beautiful, beautiful mate. He is foaming. Just like my mouth. So guys, we've just hit the three hour mark. We've done our final temperature check and we've just cruised past the 70 degree mark, which is perfect for how we want it today. So we're gonna take them off the charcoal, put them to the side and get our bitters going. And Dax says time now to unwrap it and see how it looks. That's cute, man. The juices have settled. That's wild. Adonis is gonna put some lemon on there for us. Add that finishing touch like we said at the start. What do you reckon, Anthony? Oh, I know this, man. If you want to be a manga, you gotta cook like a manga. 